Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's. We live in a very backwards world, a day and age in which devil worship is becoming part of the norm. People's subjective opinions are trumping objective facts. When all the facts, the facets of the one true religion are commonly held as uh, crackpot crazy. It's still in this crazy backwards illogical given to all your base inclinations of pleasure time that in which we live. Still now our Lord's words ring true. Let them have it. This world is passing. This world is not what we're meant for. I'm not saying don't stand for truth. No, yes, absolutely stand for the truth and and defend your rights. Just be ready for what that means today. In the political specter, it's never been more polarized from the Catholic truth and the going fads of, of ideologies today. So be ready what it means. It means ridicule and derision. Outright violence to your person and maybe your family may cause you to lose your jobs or means of living. So it's, it's, be ready, it's, it's important to be ready to let them have what is theirs and no more. For theirs is a false tenet of the modern world to appropriate to itself what it, what's not its own, such as the right to kill an unborn child. or the right to choose one's own gender, or that which ultimately lies at the bottom of it all, the right to worship God as they choose. This is what it all boils down to. Man is losing his sense of religion and has lost all the sense of the one true religion. Man who's usurped God's prime position as the raison d'etre of all creation. And man now lives for himself most completely. And so we Catholics are in stark contrast to the world. And we can let them have all the material things, the entertainment, the, the lands, but what we have what do we keep for ourselves? It's important for us to heed Christ's words today, render unto Caesar, but more importantly, render unto God the things that are God's. And what are God's? His kingdom is not of this world. His kingdom is a spiritual kingdom. He reigns over our souls, reigns over our hearts. So it's very important that we give, them, give him our hearts. We have that as, as our life's actions proceed from our heart. We know our Lord said, where your treasure lies, where, where your heart is, there your treasure is also. Seek the kingdom of heaven. Put your treasures in heaven. But how do we give our Lord our heart? How do we give him our soul? It's by our daily acts of virtue, our daily suffering, our daily toil. I keep repeating over and over. These are our means to salvation. These are our means to overcome, to grow closer to Christ. It's very important. We wake up every morning and we, we look at the day, look at the opportunities we have to grow closer to God. It's important for us, too, to promote the good things in life. As we know, a bow always bent will break, and so that's why we have recreations. That's why we have entertainments. They're just things for us to relax. But they're not an end in themselves. 
It's very important. We use them to reinvigorate our, our spiritual life, our spiritual sacrifices, our spiritual suffering. It's important for us to render unto God the first place in our heart. So when we wake, to give him that first place, to say, this day is yours. You have, given me, you have given me all that I have and all that I need. And so we try to return it to him. Treat him as the one to whom all things tend. All of creation was created for his purpose, his divine plan. For us to work for his greater glory. And we see the world when they get off track from this. Things don't go well. Things don't turn out. And people are turning now saying global warming and things of that nature are because of, of man's poor living. And I say yes. But it's spiritually poor living. We'll be punished. We'll have to make sacrifice and atonement for our sins. It's very important for us to, to have that, that, uh, that focus to centralize ourselves around the Mass, around unity with Christ in all things. Render unto God the first place in your heart as your first desire when you wake. We want to go to heaven. Treat him as the one to whom all things tend, in whose unity we have the best expression of our being. If you want to be the best you can possibly be, the fullness of your being, it's in union with Christ, in union with Christ on the cross, in union with Christ suffering. And so it doesn't matter what the world takes from us. If they take everything else, as long as we give him our heart, as we know that princip neither principalities nor powers, nor things present nor things to come, nor might, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able, to be able to separate us from the love of God as in Christ Jesus our Lord. Render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, but render unto God your love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.